legend in the game, Machiavelli, Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah, you see me on the telly. I'm a very calculated nigga, never miss a penny. I'm hot like Nelly, legend in the game. Alright, we can live on forum tonight, I see. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to another Tuesday Night Mike Dream Machine. And of course, we have a star in the Shane Hennigan's bar. And, he, and look, we're, we're good pals at this point in life. I think we, we go back a few years. And he's probably got the best car collection I've ever seen in life. And definitely brings the glamour. So tonight, the head of the cannon run himself, Mr. Jay Cannon. Yeah. And without a shadow of a doubt, looking at the Shane Hennigan's bar tonight, we've never seen it so decorated. I know, I know, I like this decoration, Jay. This is, well, Jay, what's going on here, man? I bought Jack Life for us. <laughs> Jack Life? It's not, it's not a promotional plug or nothing, it's for us to get celebrated after. Jack Life, Jack okay, Life. Jack Life in the building tonight as well. Right, I am Shane Lynch, and of course, this is Nathan Gerhold. My name is. <laughs> I'll take that one, Rick. I was waiting for something way worse than that. All right, we've got a great show for you tonight. If you are um, tuning in for the very first time on My Dream Machine, you're very, very welcome. And if you're a regular, welcome back. We're a car giveaway show. What a difference. We'd like to give you some motor news. I'd like to have stars at the bar, Shane Hannigan's bar. Little guest, we're going to interview Jay Cannon later on. Jay Cannon in the building! Dude, that car was awesome. <laughs> It's an 800 ponies in that thing. So it's... Um we took a stock Hurricane, Cybex ECU, VF Supercharger, changed the pulleys for smaller pulleys and then snapped an Armatrix <laughs> exhaust on it and tuned it on the dyno to 850. He always got a top trumps with me on the sickest whips, you know what I mean? I, I like different kind of builds, but you come with just like crazy power, always with crazy power. It's, um, it's going back in four weeks to have the supercharger and move the turbo speed. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just not enough as it is, right? It's maxed out now and there's all the builds happening in the UK at the minute. That be quicker, so all right. For those of you uh seeing Jay Cannon for the very first time, have a look at this VT and check out what he's all about. I'm filming another vlog and I'm talking very loudly because this car is very, very, very noisy. something where it's nothing. So, yeah. Yeah. so this is your job as well, isn't it? You drive stuff like this. This is all I do is just up and down the country in supercars for different meetings or planning different events or planning routes or testing hotels or sampling alcohol or clubs or... Sounds awful. <laughs> Sounds, <laughs> Sounds awful. Do you remember, now, I've got, I want to say, do you remember when we flew out to, I think we flew to Italy. Yes. Uh, on the Canon Run, maybe three years ago. I think. Was three, well, yeah, it was three years ago, yeah. Was, three yeah. years ago, 18, yeah. And we spent two nights um, fairly, fairly having a great time actually, yeah. brilliant two yeah. nights, and then about two weeks in the bin afterwards. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> every time I've gone to the, I think the start of that, we were originally going to go on the start, you had a big party on that boat, the launch party. Oh yeah, of course. And we were supposed to go off, and we didn't make, we, we did that one night and then had to go home, <laughs> and then fly out two days later, I think was the It's what happens, tend to, people with blue ticks tend to leave and they yeah. kind of come back halfway through and then recovered a little bit. And yeah, that's the yeah. same again and they're gone again. Damn. Well, I can make a full session like that, I'll get a blue tick. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. See what's in, he'll feel you have to do it. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Thanks, bud. Yeah. So, um, well, I'm just going to take you back to the cannon and stuff, right? So, Obviously, it's been affected to work with lockdown and everything. Have you got, you've got one this year, Omega Run? We've been Isn't back on. We were very lucky last year. Um, we got in and out during the two lockdowns with two events, and the dates just worked and everything just went to plan, and it was absolutely mega. And then 
this year we managed to land ourselves a TV show with Sky. Nice. Um, and because we're doing that, we've now got documents from the government to be able to open venues that are closed and to be able to do this TV show for people because it's during lockdown, it's a necessity for people's mental health to be able to watch new TV. So, really so technically, because you're making telly, like we're making telly, you've got a permit. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. So spring break's going ahead as normal. Uh, 125 supercars sold out wow. to Torquay. And then Mega Run's the main one, which obviously June the 18th, is it? We're allowed to be back to normal anyway, I think, yeah. isn't it? So the second of June we leave. <laughs> nice. So we're out and we're gone and we're on the way to Ibiza. And one thing we definitely know about that is uh, for people, if you're watching around, follow, uh, have a look at the Canon on and have a look at where the route was going and see a hundred and odd best cars in the world passing your front door. It's, it's, it's a proper spectacle. Oh, I'm sure you don't blink though. The speeds that they're going to be going fast. <laughs> no. Which actually, Sorry to jump in, which actually I've been dying to show you this VT of when Jay showed up oh, in this car. Like, like, can we hit that and show you this absolutely unbelievable Lamborghini? So there's like 125 of cars like this on the run. Well, well, for any of the Canon clients that are watching now, there is, but they won't be as quick as me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the track that you visit, of course. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, that's it, that's it. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it's one of the clips that I saw. You, you're kicking the windscreen out of another Lambo. Oh. <laughs> I've got to ask you about that, Jay. So we was on Mega Run this year. This one just gone, and. Um, an incident happened where my windscreen shattered and the car, there was luckily no damage to the car, but the whole windscreen was just gone. And uh, I was leaving um, the middle of France to head to Monaco and I was on the motorway and the, this windscreen was just collapsing in on me. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, well, do I stop and wait for seven hours for recovery or do I carry on, do my job, make sure the customers are happy and get the windscreen out? And <laughs> so I kicked the windscreen out and bent the door and we drove all the way to Monaco with, with no windscreen basically. Of course you do. We did. <laughs> Is that the car that you're doing a build on? You're doing something with an Aventador as well, right? So, it's the first this side of the pond, and so the whole of Europe, no one's done it, so it's the first twin turbo Aventador. So it's at JM Imports at the moment. It's running 816 horsepower now. Wow. Um, it's just had two precision turbos strapped to it, custom manifolds, charge cores, all that sort of stuff. Um, and Cybex is developing an ECU, it should be running 1200 horsepower when it comes back. Wow, fast. Yeah. It might be a silly question, who's doing a diff? Uh, me when I blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I know there was a package in America that only quaff differentials. You could only get that. Well, in America, the boys are running at 1800 to 3000 horsepower in these Aventadors. Okay. I'm running 1200, so I don't need to do with this. Shouldn't blow up. No. We're good. The, the engine's a forged anyway, it's a V12, so wow. they reckon it'll take 1500 safely, so 1200. And it's pretty cool that you take something like a Lambo that is just out of this world powerful already and go, I'm going to double that. <laughs> Triple that. Yeah, what goes on in your head? So listen, we've got like, a Ferrari F12 we build at the minute and we cut the rear quarters off the other day with a still sore on telly and we've just wide bodied it full carbon and that's going from there to JM to be twin turbo when it's done as well. So all the Canon kind of supercars apart from the GT3 RS will be able to twin turbo. I've got a couple of things coming through here. So I've got Canon Run looks amazing, loads of people. Um, some nice cars there, Jay. I'm getting loads and loads of stuff about your car collection coming through. Uh, I do want to ask you though first, what's, was, uh, sorry, what was your first car? First ever car? Yeah. The first ever car was a Mini, but my first proper car that I bought, I, um, when Skylines were cheap, cheap. I bought an R33 GTST, I was 15. I give three, <laughs> three grand for it. I'd save the bull money, I'd give three grand for it. And then me and me mate, we built it in the garage for two years, and we put kit and cage and car and, and seats and tuned it and did loads of bits and that was my first car I was 17 which lasted three days until <laughs> the Conrad came out the block and was on for another round. I didn't crash. Flat out! Flat out, crash, flat out and then it's just, I was racing an RS4 coming back from a car park cruise from when I was 17 and it just, I didn't win the race. I blew it out. I blew it out. I blew it out. Yeah, so that was it, 33 Skyline. Now we're going to my first drift car actually in 23 Skyline. Savage car. Yeah, great car, great balance, great everything. Straight out of the box as a manufacturer, you can't really... You can't knock it. You can't knock it. Come on. Amazing, amazing machine. Without a doubt. I've got to, just a quick shout out, uh, Jay, if you would. Gaz from Barnsley says he's following you on Insta and Facebook and that. Says you're one of the hardest workers out there. Cheers, Gaz. I love you, mate. Thank you for the You're right there, you know. Anything you see with Jay, is, uh, you're flat out. I mean, I don't know where you get the energy, uh, especially on the Instagram page and stuff like that. You're forever, ever just create. You're a creator. That's a 
Dubai. Yeah. I, I live on energy drinks. Oh really? Yeah. Yesterday morning I drove from York, no, from Devon to York, and then back to mine. No way. I'm still like I'm wired it right now. Go go go! I'm, I'm <laughs> Red Bulls and everything like from <laughs> from the bottom <laughs> to the top. Uh, and in terms of so let's before we show this VT kind of street out stuff, uh, what what kind of road? failures have you had many fender benders many pings yeah that big one last year yeah really big one so we was at the hungara ring in hungary on the mega run and i've done like seven laps of the track i don't know if you know hungara ring but it's a no, 150 mile an hour pit straight into like a 30 mile an hour head bend wow. with a concrete wall at the bottom and they come into the braking zone hit the brakes pedal gone straight to the floor oh deadly hit the wall at 110 did ya collarbone ribs foot Boy, it was good crack, got out. I had a <laughs> it was good crack. crack. So when I went back out straight after in the GT3, so I had to keep it pinned with, with the bus foot in the water just to show everyone, like, listen, I'm all right, we're, we're, we're carrying on, don't worry, the trip's still good. And, and forgetting you, what was the car like? Um, it's probably not best to talk about that, <laughs> that car. That was you just polish out the scuffs that was on Did it, it yeah. have carbon ceramics or no? It carbon ceramics, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't the brakes, it was, we whipped the bonnet off after and the fluid poured out the chamber, so basically we'd, we'd cut the fluid for yeah, it. Yeah, pushed yeah. out. Pushed it out. Oh. So even the carbon ceramics, they get cooked. Yeah. Cooked, they yeah. get happen. Cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that means, well, at least you were trying, man. Listen, yeah. with the times were coming down, the car looked well, I was flying and there was just a couple of lucky people there that was, they didn't get took out on the way through with the James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I've got a couple of questions actually. I've got one coming in. Mark Carver here says, uh, what's the minimum car entry requirements for the Canagram? There's no minimum car entry for the requirements. All we require is tax, MOT, insurance, and the car's roadworthy. Ah, uh, that's me, Adam. And you're, and you're <laughs> married already. But listen, if, you, yeah. if you want to bring an ambulance, a fire engine, whatever it might be that's quirky, different, you know, everyone's welcome to it. Everybody's welcome. And I have one final question for me. What's next? What's next is we've just launched a new business called Race Wars. So basically, Fast and Furious One, Race Wars in the Desert. And um, we're working with JM Imports, who are doing the two big Lambo builds for the Parrot. These guys are building now like two and a half, three thousand horsepower GTRs. So we've come together, Cameron and JM, to do Race Wars, which is, as I said, same as Fast and Furious One. We've got four venues confirmed. We've got quarter mile, half mile, top speed. Um, and handling circuits at every event. Uh, you're going to see some seriously. We're in for a bit of that, aren't we, Bunsy? Camera. <laughs> 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 it's a two lines in the whole show. <laughs> 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 um, that is us done with Jake. We have one final thing for you to do, sir. If you want to sign the tub for us, the pen's up there. And we need our good friend Butsy to come in and take the shot for the basketball challenge. So, come on, my son, tell me. So, Butsy, you are trying for Jamie Nolan. If you get the sense, Jamie Nolan gets £500 of psycho. If that had smashed, I would have been like, I'm out of it. Two well, it must be Mike and everything. It's only not just happened. All right, all right, all right. Well, okay. Just going to get, unless next one's here, let's go. What's the point now? Okay. Antonio O'Callaghan. Antonio O'Callaghan. £500 of site credit. So congratulations, it's 500 quid. All you need to do is drop us a DM and the guys will be in touch with you. That's been a long time coming. Well done, buddy. Yeah. Well Big up your Irish. Yeah, you know what I mean? Someone's gonna find some people. I've got a hernia from jumping out the bar, saving her bottle of vodka. Jack, you saved the moon. You saved the moon. Um, right, party people, we're gonna go over and pick some winners tonight. But thank you so much to Jay Cannon, Shane, and Ian Burr. Yes, I'm in a zone. If I see her, then I got it, bro. So I know it's very, very echoey, but I can't be bothered to put the mic on because I've done three days on the road and about seven million miles. And this is the start of our vlog, even though I'm filming it at the end of the evening. So, welcome to this week's vlog. We've just been at Dream Machine. It went off with Shane and the boys, as it always does. Tomorrow we're taking this to go and get the four-wheel alignment done, fill it with high-octane fuel, and to get all the levels checked, ready for Friday, because we are racing with the Sharnbrook Hotel, Petrol Hedonism, Dot Club, whatever you pronounce the name, like Chiro Grandad, guy who loves me to pieces. So we're coming to smash everybody's heads in. Whoever's there, you're not going to beat me. You've got no chance. I've got a supercharger. I've got four-wheel drive, and it's going off. So see you on the start. I got your girl head banging, so they calling me Nirvana. Yeah. No, I'm not her daddy, but she calling me her papa. Touchdown when I land, dog. I need that bad to go. I just need a check. I need a couple grand for that show. I don't got no time to waste. I ain't ever moving slow. They ain't doing nothing, but somehow they do. So the reason I don't look very enthusiastic is because I'm absolutely shattered. I don't normally see two nines in one day. 
and I've driven a million miles this week and now I've got to go and take this to get the four wheel alignment done, the tracking done, the levels checked and make sure it's all race ready for Friday so stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, for those of you that don't understand, it's having the geometry set up and the four wheel alignment done, which basically means the car is perfect on the road, the camber settings are correct, the wheels aren't towing out or in too much, and it's all perfect, ready to go, which means it'll handle the best it should and the best it could. And yeah, that's the Geo. So we went down to Shane Lynch's, we did loads of bits and pieces on the TV show, and it was absolutely mega. Boys, thank you for bringing me in on that. Obviously we've just been another four wheel alignment done on the Hurricane and the geometry all set up, ready to go racing, which I was going to show you as part of one vlog, but the vlog was just too long and too sick, so we broke it up into two. So, next week's vlog is the Hurricane smashing mist on the quarter mile, getting smashed on the quarter mile by the Wrench R8, and just having loads of crack. So, enjoy the first part, part two that's coming next time is even better. I am. Now my goal infinity, victorious, mine in the future, my crew won the Lorians, any person who wants war thrown a blue.